Oof, God. <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> is actually sponsored by HelloFresh. Thanks to them, I can throw out mine and my family's terrible diet of cornflakes and toast all day every day and substitute it for something a little bit healthier and just a nice treat for my family and for me because we do a lot of work with our animals so I think we maybe deserve it. So I'm gonna be surprising my family with a lovely meal today by HelloFresh. HelloFresh has had an incredible impact on our lifestyle. It's so nice to be able to walk in from the yard after a long day and not have to worry about what we have to cook for dinner. I am no chef, but the recipes were so easy to follow and the end result both looked and tasted incredible. Use the promo code BLOBTHECOB for a massive 50% off your first box. And just to top it off, you get the following three boxes for 35% off too. That's the promo code BLOBTHECOB or the first link in the description. Thank you. Hey you guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm doing something that I've already done in the past that you guys seem to enjoy and I will be reacting to more of me trying my horses for the first time. So in the last episode I reacted to Dreamer and Bob which was interesting. <laughs> I know but I'm a terrible rider. <laughs> <laughs> So today, continuing on in the same order, we are going to be reacting to Nero, Evie, and potentially Ziggy. I say potentially Ziggy, it depends on two things. How long my camera battery lasts, because it's slowly dying. Also, how long my will to live lasts. <laughs> So we're going to be starting with Nero, and a little bit of background before we get into it is I watched Nero for years before I went to try him. I was a huge fan. Those of you who don't know Nero very well or have only been maybe following him since that I've had him, Nero has been big online for many years. I think I first saw him in 2012. That was with Sophie Ball, who brought him onto YouTube, I guess, for the first time. And I'd been following him ever since. I followed him when Sophie had him and I followed him when Nat had him. And that is where I went to try him at Nat's place when she was selling him at the end of her last year on ponies. So going to see him, obviously being such an enormous fan, Nero was literally my dream. And I mean my dream, I literally dreamed about him every night. And every day when I had breakfast, I would sit and show my parents videos of Nero with Nat and Sophie and photos and things and just admire how unbelievably incredible and special he was. Going to try him was a dream come true, but it was also terrifying. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was fall off because I had no idea whether I was going to be able to sit these books that Sophie and Nat could sit. I didn't know whether I was going to fall off or not. That was nerve-wracking because trying Nero meant so much to me. I felt like it was my one chance to prove that I could have this pony and I was good enough to have him because trying a pony like Nero, it wasn't just a case of like, oh, do you like him? Can you afford him? It was very much a case of like, if they don't think you're good enough to ride him, then you're not having him either way. I was very nervous, but yeah, let's, let's get into it because I could ramble about this all day. <laughs> okay, so here we are, we're walking around. You can see the look of terror in my face. <laughs> I don't even pick the reins up. I'm just like, I just want them to see how relaxed and cool I am about everything. There we go, smiling at the camera. Give him a little stroke, basically praying to Nero. I'm just being like, Nero, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> also, my choice of clothing was very questionable. I went with the red because like Sophie's show jacket was red with him and uh, I wanted to look like I fit in with him and I thought red would look really good with him but the top that I chose was so low cut like I mean I don't wear anything that revealing now like you know I don't know why I opted to that on a pony that was clearly gonna like bounce around and the straps I remember on that top did not stay up so I mean I could have been topless at any point in this video and <laughs> And I mean, I still have the body of a 12 year old boy, so it's not even like it would be impressive. <laughs> okay, so I'm not doing a terrible job at the moment. Nero doesn't really like school properly anyway. So 
you know, his schooling is very particular, so I wouldn't say he's going, like, terribly worse than usual. Bit like Bobby around with his head. Oh, we're going for a canter. Oh, I remember feeling a little bit relieved at this point, because I was like, oh, he hasn't booked, he's not booking, and I'm managing to stay on in the canter. Um, and his canter felt so amazing, like, he's just so powerful. Like, you can't, the videos don't do it justice, he's just such a powerful pony. And he still feels like that now. <laughs> he's getting a little bit whizzy down there, me just laughing it off, having a little trot. That's me sort of coming to terms with the fact that I've remained alive. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna cut to our first jump now. So I believe this video is our first jump, coming to this cross pole. It's a little bit tighter off the corner, so I'm just like bracing, I don't know what to expect. And boom, we survived the first jump. Um, a little bit of an over-release. I did that a lot with Nero for the first like few months of having him. A bit disunited there, I can't stop. There we go, but he didn't book. He still hasn't booked at this point. He does book. Um, Oh, here we go, coming around to the Oxer. I love how I dropped a crossbow and now I'm like, yay, Oxer. Okay, here we go. Boom, we're still alive. Oh, first little book, second little book, third. And at this point I'm like, oh my God, he's bucking, he's bucking, don't fall off. And I managed to stay on and I'm like just overly praising him constantly being like, oh my God, I survived another round. I survived another round. <laughs> So this now is my last round on him that I did of jumping when I went to try him. So these were, they were probably only about like a meter, maybe a meter five. Um, I think the ox was slightly bigger than the upright if I remember, but I haven't seen this video in a very long time, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, <laughs> here we go, upright. Oh, you just, the scope is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, I remember coming to this being like, come on, mean, come on, mean, just stay on, just stay on. Yay! Oh, he's just magical to watch. Oh, bit of bucking, more bucking. The bigger the fences are, the more he bucks. Let's get so excited. Yes, she's still on, she's still on, and she's alive! There's Nat's mum walking across. It was so funny. I remember being just so happy that I managed to stay on him and so relieved and so like in love with him. And Nat's mum walked across and she was like, are you okay? Like, you know, just checking that I wasn't terrified of him and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm great now. Like, so good. Yeah, it was just the greatest experience ever. And it was, it couldn't have gone any better for me really because even though I wasn't the most experienced rider in the world, at this point I'd only had Dreamer and Bob to ride. So um, Dreamer wasn't much of a jumper, obviously, uh, <laughs> as you can see from the previous videos. Bob, he just had a very, very different style to Nero. Um, so I jumped Bob up to 110, 120 kind of height. I'm so grateful that I managed to do that because I don't think I would have had the confidence to jump Nero had I not had Bob. I think Nero would have been petrifying. It was just the most magical day and obviously it led to us getting Nero and yeah, I still have Nero now and he's just as incredible. And he's one of those horses that even getting on him now, I still have that feeling of like, God, I can't believe I'm on the Dark Emperor. Like, that's still how I feel every time I get on. So, yeah, that's mean. <laughs> Moving on to Evie now. So, Evie, we got in 2015. This was my last year on ponies, and I think it was the February that I tried Evie. And I got her to sort of help me get used to horses, basically, for my last year on ponies. So, I was getting ready to go into horses, but also to do like children on horses classes which I did a Pony of the Year show and places like that on her. This was me trying Evie. Here we are just walking around. I look so funny on her. I'm like overly trying to sit up on her as well. I remember the saddle was so weird. It was like tipping me forward a bit. It was so comfortable, but it was tipping me forward. It did not fit her very well. Um, and it was very far forward. And Evie's so compact anyway. And she goes with her head like down everywhere. Like not, ugh, it's weird. Cause she doesn't go like downhill. She just naturally like curls up into like an extreme outline. And uh, yeah, her head just is never there. And then when you go around corners and things like she always drop her shoulder in a bit. So it, it was just very difficult to stay on her anyway. So trying her in the saddle was interesting <laughs> so we're just walking around i'm going to cut to try and find something more interesting to look at because we're just we're not doing anything 
So we are trotting across the arena. Oh, she just goes so beautifully. Look at her schooling. Oh, she's so beautiful. I was already so in love with her at this point. You can already see the saddle, like the back of the saddle bouncing off her back though. And you will see when we start jumping in a minute, just how difficult it was. I don't know whether the saddle just didn't fit at all or whether maybe it wasn't supposed to have the pad under or whether it was just supposed to be further back in general because it kept moving forward. Or maybe it wasn't even her saddle. Maybe they were just using a different saddle on her for me to try her. It was not the best. <laughs> I loved the saddle though. I was so gutted because when we got Evie, the saddle came with her and I fell in love with the saddle because I'd always wanted an Akeep and it was an Akeep Synergy and I absolutely adored my Akeep Synergy and yeah, we will come back to that later. Okay, so I believe we're getting ready to jump now. Getting ready for a little warm up fence. Over we go. Oh, little canter transition. Can we canter? I'm like trying to get her to canter, but then not wanting to do that embarrassing thing where you're like canter, canter, and they just get faster in the trot. <laughs> oh, first fence. We're going straight for an upright. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love how I'm like straight line, straight line, straight line, back to the wall. <laughs> okay, second fence. Here we go. Is it gonna be better? Oh, oh, oh no, it's worse. It's much worse. There we go, back to the wall. <laughs> Where else would I be at this point, honestly? <laughs> at some point, I'm hoping to see that I'm like, you know, coming to terms with it a bit. Oh, okay, at least I'm getting a bit more forward now. Oh my gosh, look how hard it is to stay on. Look at the saddle. Oh my God, I'm gonna put that in slow motion. The saddle is literally flying off her back. <laughs> She's so piggy though, I love her so much. Okay, I think I have a couple more rounds of Evie to watch. Look at her schooling though, she's just so beautiful. She just trots around so perfectly. You could just see the saddle bouncing off her. It got progressively worse because it like, it didn't just bounce from the back. It literally, it moved forward as well. So it moved into like the most vulnerable possible point it could. It's just bouncing off her. I'm hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's a much nicer rhythm. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere now. Oh my god. The saddle may as well just be on her head at this point, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't even stay on. How did I manage to stay on? I'm not this agile now. I don't think I'd be able to do that again. Oh, we're doing a proper course now. Oh, I'm on a mission. These fences are fairly decent as well for like trying a new horse. Okay, down the line. Oh, very nice striding, Kate. Where's that now? <laughs> hey, and survived another round. Evie was just so lovely to ride. Like even with the saddle not being great, she was just so nice to ride because she just went beautifully and she was that perfect horse for me because she was like, she was a horse, but she was a pony. A pony in horse form. <laughs> so she went so like together and she was so compact. So there wasn't too much horse for me to control because I was only 15 at this point. And I was quite a small 15 year old. I wasn't big. I'd never ridden a proper horse either. Like Dreamer is technically a horse because he's 15 one. He moved so much like a pony. He had like half the length of stride that Nero does and stuff. So Evie was my first horse horse and she was just that perfect in between. So that's Evie. So now we're gonna go on to Ziggy. And I actually have several clips of Ziggy that I will explain now. So for Ziggy, Ziggy literally lived like a mile up the road from us. So initially back in the day, he was a show jumper and he basically lost confidence over the years until it got to a point where he really just would not jump. And so my friend who lives up the road from us bought him as a project. She was older than me. I was about to say older than me at the time, obviously is still older than me now. Um, <laughs> yeah, she was off ponies basically at the time. So she just had him as a project to bring on. And I remember I was visiting her one day and she was like, do you want to ride Ziggy? So I actually tried him twice technically. So I have a couple of clips from the first time I ever rode him, which was when I just popped up as a friend and just sat on him for a few minutes and had a little 
jump. And then I have the clips from when I actually tried him. So um, there's a couple of sets from different days. So I'm going to show you guys both of them. So I only have a couple of clips from when I first tried him. So here is, I think, one of my first ever jumps on him. And this was when I just popped up as a friend. These videos aren't the best quality. Um, but yeah, he's just like, he always looked to the outside of the arena as well when he was approaching stuff. Woo! And he could not approach anything without like super speeding up to it in the last few strides um, which really played to how I used to ride Bob as well because I always pushed Bob on in the last few strides so it was like I had to try and get him and myself out of that habit at the same time <laughs> and here's the second little clip I've got oh it just brings back so many memories I can't believe how much he like muscled out over the time as well and stuff because I don't think he'd been back in work that long at this moment in time um, Oh, making him wait. That was better. That was better. I, I, at least I sat there and made him actually wait for that one. Whereas before I was just like, go, go, go. <laughs> so then these videos that we're watching now are from when I actually tried him. So he's already muscled out a little bit more than he had. I always think it's weird, but when I look back at these videos, I always think he looks almost a bit like Foley. I don't know whether that's just me. Like comment down below if you also agree that he like, somewhat looks like a foal in this like I don't know he just like not like a foal foal but like he looks a little bit on the foley side like he looks very young but yeah he's just so whizzy like he was so different to Nero because Nero had this massive bold powerful stride on him whereas Ziggy was like this little pocket rocket that just moves so fast underneath you like you just couldn't keep up with him but yeah we decided at this point that as my friend had like offered for us to go and try him and stuff we sort of said we'll, we'll go and have a look and things because I'd have loved another pony to jump alongside Nero because obviously Bob was supposed to do that initially but then Bob had an accident in the September um, when we actually got Nero the week before before, which was just bloody lovely. Um, <laughs> he was obviously within our price range at the time because he was a project of um, my friends and then a project of mine so he wasn't ridiculously priced so he was affordable at the time for us as a project and, and that was why we went to see him. Look at him, he's so cute! I love his little ears, he's so adorable! And yeah, he still has that saddle now. So the the sort of story of Evie's saddle and how it ties into this is that after we tried Ziggy and we decided that we wanted him, um, she, my friend wasn't sure whether she could give us his saddle with him. And I had this saddle for Evie that obviously didn't fit and it was beautiful. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and it was an keep Synergy so I said to her I was like look I can't afford to buy the saddle off you on top of like paying for Ziggy but I will trade you an keep Synergy for Ziggy's prestige saddle. So yeah I traded my keep Synergy in. I was gutted. I think if I still had it now I'd still be frantically trying it on every horse I own to try and find one that it fit but over the time we had it it just didn't fit anything and it was so frustrating. I would have just put it in my room and sat on it myself. It was so comfortable and it was the most beautiful thing ever but yeah trading it in for Ziggy was a good decision but yeah, there's some days where I feel like I trade Ziggy back for my Keep Synergy saddle, but still. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. So here we are, cantering down the long side. Yeah, he's, his schooling at this point was like, it was coming on a bit, but he was still at a point where he kind of went round like his head like a bit of a giraffe and stuff. And he always faced the outside because if you like, you had to almost half halt him constantly. So you were constantly just half halting with the outside rein. Look how fast he's going. He's so speedy! Like you literally felt like he was tanking off with you constantly. And he always crossed his jaw in that bit as well. But yeah, then you dropped into trot and he'd start to give a little bit sometimes, but he was just a bit tense at the time. Oh yeah, and if you half hold him too much, he did the head shaking thing when he did this all the time. And uh Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him, he's just sassy. So Look at how fast he's going. I'm like trying to subtly half halt him, but it's so hard because he's literally a tank. 
Um, because Nero wasn't really that strong, especially when he was jumping and stuff. He really wasn't that strong, whereas Ziggy was very strong. So I had to keep trotting him because my arms were literally like giving way. Okay, I think we're moving on to jumping now. So we're coming to the first cross pole on him. And I think considering like my other jump on him, I think that was better because at least I held him into a nice rhythm and things coming to that. And we managed to trot by the second corner, so. I mean, you don't get much better than that. <laughs> okay, so my friend is putting the fence up for him. And I think we're gonna try and do it all. Maybe just the cross ball again, I don't know. That was a little bit too speedy. Am I coming down this distance as well? I don't, no, I'm not. I was gonna say, it gets to a point where you're going around the corner and you're like, I hope to God I'm not coming around this distance, otherwise we're going to die. Okay, we're putting up this double. I um, don't know if it's a double or a three stride. Ziggy's stride was so short sometimes, but then he did this thing where he proper like reached out. So he'd go from having like zero canter to like the canter of like an 18 hand horse. <laughs> Here we go, zoomies, zoomies, zoomies. Oh, it's a one stride. Oh, I know, I think it's a two, but I just felt like I could not retain the power. Uh, so I just let him go on one. I think I'm gonna go do that again. Um, I don't know whether, should probably, she's probably gonna move it out a bit because I think that is quite short, to be honest. Okay, we're coming. Oh, it's an upright now, I've got an upright. Okay, we're still supersonic speed. Okay, we're coming in to the double again. Is she gonna get two this time? Nope, still going on the one. I, I can't remember whether we left it as a one and just as you put the fence up, obviously you need more distance in between. Um, so I don't know whether we left it as a one and just put the fence up or whether we put it to a two. I honestly can't remember. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, we left it as a one. We left it as a one and oh my god. It's terrifying looking back at these videos because he's just so fast coming into them. But I was such a brave child though. Like I would have just gotten anything at the time. Okay, over the little upright. Here we go. Oh my god, out of control, out of control. Oh my word. It's scary. Like he jumped mint. Like, he was insane, but insane in multiple ways. Okay, this is the last video I have of me trying Ziggy, so I'm assuming this is like the biggest I jumped him. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, he's so speedy and fast, but also look how lush he is. Ziggy's knees, you couldn't beat Ziggy's knees. Ziggy's knees were like always, not like this. I'd be worried if Ziggy's knees were like this. <laughs> Ziggy's knees were always like this in front, they're beautifully tucked up, perfect. I always thought sometimes Ziggy had better knees than Nero and Nero had great knees, but Ziggy was just like so textbook in his like technique for a jumping pony. Yeah, it was so nice to watch him just grow in confidence because when we first started competing in BS, we had um, a few problems, you know, like little stops here and there and stuff, but over the like the few the weeks and months as it went by, he just grew so much in confidence. He had a great year with all three of them. I was a very, very lucky girl to have all those horses and to still have them now. Obviously, um, they're all retired now. Nero is semi-retired, he still hacks and things. Evie has had a fall. Evie has had Poppy. I, as if, like, I look back at these videos and then to think that she's now, we've had her for seven years and she's got a baby is just insane. And then Ziggy is obviously a field ornament now as well. He's like pretty sound. I reckon I could probably bring him back into work. That would make a very entertaining video. Um, so next time I have the vet out to do vaccines, I might give him a little trot up and a little whiz round and see what they say. And if he's sound, Comment down below if you fancy watching me die on Ziggy now. Um, <laughs> but that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know who you'd like me to react to next or what you'd like me to react to next. I have a few ideas in the pipeline of things that I wanna react to because I love making these videos. But if you guys have any ideas and stuff too, then feel free to share them below. I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.